guys believe this place used to be a refuse dump? I'm in an area called East Airport, not far from Chado at all. I've showcased Chado in other videos. This is central, very popular area, close to everything, close to the airport, close to Osu, close to Laboni, close to most of the popular places within Ghana. This place has been completely transformed. It's not a huge land, but an eight bedroom apartment has been built right behind me. It takes a lot of expertise to be able to put something together like this and to be able to even see the vision. I'm gonna ask and see if I can find old photos of what this place used to look like before it was transformed into this amazing building. The person that's behind this, in other videos, I've showcased other real estate that he's put together. In this video, we're going to get to know his story and why he decided to put this together. Why is it a good business idea? Why, how did he even see the vision of transforming it into this stunning, beautiful building you see right behind me? Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you want to see more real estate related content. And let's go and meet the brains behind this. to see you Danny. Nice meeting you again Justin. Is How there are you? a place in Chado that I cannot find you because it looks like everywhere I turn you're there. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And from what you've told me this used to be a refuse dam. Yes yes yes. First oh of all my God. this property is called the Decade. Right. And um, the Decade is really a luxury apartment. Right. This apartment we took about 11 months okay to turn this place from a refuse down into what a luxury eight bedroom apartment that's amazing again get a catch the catch is that it's just 48 by 50 feet of land so that's not even a plot no 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 that's like half plot wow and we've been able to de design this um huge authority yeah. of a building called the decade that's so what amazing. we did today is I'm going to show you three different components of this building. Okay. I'm going to show you the facade. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you the beautiful interior. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take you to the rooftop. Amazing. Swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I also have a lot of questions for you, but I'll save it for after the tour. So. All right. Yes. So let's let's get going. Let's All get right, going. All right. Let's. My name is Mrs. Elaine Palmer. I'm here at the Decade. We're from the UK. And I'm over here, been over here now for nearly three weeks. And the staff here are just wonderful. Basically, they are they would go out their way to try and help you. Security is really, really A1. I give them 10 out of 10. They'll help you to be able to get out of here, like if you want a taxi, if you want to travel around, they're here to advise you. They, um, if you want snacks from outside, you know, they're here to help you to get snacks in or whatever, or get to the shops. They're really good. If you're here, you can either stay in your room, watch TV, you can go upstairs where there's a beautiful swimming pool up there. You can enjoy yourself up there and meet other guests who are now staying at the Decade. I would say it's just wonderful, really nice. So Danny, Hi, <laughs> when you saw this place and it was a refuse dump, yeah. like, did you already have a vision of what you wanted to put on it? Or you bought it thinking that, okay, I'm just going to build something here, but I don't know what I'm going to build. Like, how were you able to envision a rubbish dumping site to, you know, this? You know what I mean? The, the world has always, uh, the, the earth, Mother Earth, has always favored the, the visionary. Mm. So, visionary, uh, uh, we are on a visionary mission. So, mm. when we saw this place, obviously this place is close to uh, the airport is not 15 minutes away from the airport. You have Cantonment here, you have the Bema camp here, 
we thought that well strategically this place is well positioned in fact right. when we started constructing it people thought we were mad but i think that madness has yielded some great yeah, results now yeah, so yeah. that's what led us we just a bit more visionary people right we saw beyond what was happening at the at time, the time and we right. knew that this place was going to turn it and it's still developing and it's yes. going to develop very fast and fast and fast mm -hmm. very yeah. true so you knew you were going to make an it's into an apartment yes complex. yes because okay. of the centralized location okay one thing okay. about real estate mm -hmm. as people always say mm -hmm. there are three rules mm -hmm. rule number one location mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two, location. Right. And number three, location. Very true. So the location is great. So you do not have to uh, really worry yourself about what is happening around you. Yeah. Just focus on the bigger picture. Right. And now right. this apartment is fully booked for Christmas. Right. So you're not going to lodge here. So don't come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking one of them out. I'm kicking one of them out. My other thing I wanted to ask before we head upstairs yeah, to view yeah, the yeah. home is yeah. when um, we filmed, we filmed your home as well. Yes, and yeah. that was a very small piece of land and yes. you had money to build something beautiful on yeah, it as well. Yeah. So, I mean, generally speaking, most people when I go out looking for land, they always buy a plot. Yes. So why are you always buying these random numbers? Like this place you bought, what is it? 30, what was this place? Uh, it's 48 by 40, 50 feet of yes. land. Yes. Okay. So uh, how? 0 0.08 which is like half a plot. Right. Um, I feel like, look, the population of Ghana is swelling. Mm. It keeps growing and growing. Very true. If we are to preserve land mm -hmm. for the next generation, mm -hmm. we need to build right. Right. So if you can build right, why waste land? land so we are on a mission yeah. to make sure that people build land. You cannot say it, but you have to walk the talk. Right. This is an embodiment of, of a group of young about. people mm. who are walking the talk in terms of architecture, mm -hmm. managing spaces. You understand? Yes. If you acquire a piece of land, like I keep telling you, mm -hmm. you are buying a space. Yeah. You manage this space to produce results. So over here, every bit of space has been managed well. Right. Because we run short uh, term um, rentals, mm -hmm. we have a huge space in front where right. most of the cars that come mm -hmm. do not uh, station here. They drop off the client and they go back. Right. So okay. we are able to leave all those sides for mm. uh, you know cars to just park. Right. And we have the compound that can mm -hmm. park at least four cars because we have various four different floors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see what's inside. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. Let's go. Let let's me show go. you. <laughs> this is a very simplistic finish. Mm -hmm. um, because we want this place to be a home away from home, mm -hmm. We decided to open up this place. Right. Look at the concept. Yeah. You still have spacious um, living area, mm -hmm. and you have your sofa. You have your interior nicely, well, uh, tastefully finished. Yes. Let me put it like that. Yeah. You have your TV units. Yeah. Nicely welcoming you. Mm -hmm. Somebody is telling you. Shh, <laughs> <laughs> then you have your your guest washroom here you know oh, okay. when you are the living area you can have your guests right. going there and okay. uh, take care of themselves mm -hmm. we now go to the <laughs> this place i really love this place this is a three in one okay three in one this is a very big kitchen for an apartment yes yeah it's a three in one fully furnished mm -hmm. we've got all the home appliances that there is that you would want right so we have this as a countertop okay you can have your dining fire dining you can have it as a dining, yeah, table. dining table you yeah. can also have it as your bar that's yeah. why you have the bar stools right, right there right. you have your nice pendulum mm -hmm. light you have your uh the bar light as well mm -hmm. then you have your huge uh there's an open here you know what is here uh, it's not the cabinet. Is there a refrigerator? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that it's disguised. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes it's if you open it. here, you have all the utensils that you need. Oh, okay. You know, this place is like a home away from home. Right, you right, know, right. To give you that experience, you have mm. everything that you need. Mm -hmm. You have your... Because you'll be cooking here, yeah. we make sure we provide you with a strata. Oh, okay. You take away the stench yeah. of the food outside. Mm -hmm. You have another... Uh, cabinet yes. here only for glasses and cups. Right. Yeah. Then we have provided you with a space like a pantry. This is a very big pantry. Yes. Yeah. For you to be able to store your food stuff right. and everything that you want mm. to store. Yeah. Very, very spacious. All within the small space, space of land. You, yeah. Now over here, everything is enclosed. Okay. Check what is here. You have your laundry in here. 
So you do your laundry here, we have a dryer, oh, yeah, we have right. a washer. Mm -hmm. Within 15 minutes time, I'm going to get your dress ready for you yeah. to wear. <laughs> and all the apartments have their own laundry. Same, same, oh, okay. same. So nice. everything is stacked in here. Yeah. So you're able to do your laundry here right from the laundry room. You know, because of the way this place is, this place is set up, yeah. I feel like you could definitely be here long term without feeling like you're in a hotel. I don't know if you, you've you ever had that where it's like you go to a hotel and you kind of get tired of it, you're like, I want to go home. But this is really well set up because it's so spacious, very homely. So you don't really, it feels like home. Yes. You know what I mean? I feel like yes. you could be here long term yes. without getting sick of it. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a concept. Mm. Um, even though you are far away from home, yeah. you should be close to home. Right. You should feel right. like you are home. Yeah. So yeah. we make sure that we, we fine tune the details in terms of the deco. For mm -hmm. instance, most of these things you are seeing here, mm -hmm. we produce them locally. This is a, oh, okay. a marble, a okay. marble countertop, yeah. which we imported, but we have to assemble it here. Yeah, when right. you look at the cabinets, mm -hmm. we produce them locally, Royal oh. Kingdom Estate. Okay, you guys so, do that. Like as I keep well. saying, we have various units within um, our uh, department. Mm -hmm. We have RK furniture, mm -hmm. RK metal works, right. RK glazing. Uh -huh. So the furniture guys are in charge of this one. Oh, and all okay. This Okay. Uh, I feel good. I want to enjoy myself. I, well, why? You're sitting without me, Danny. I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> I know, no, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're giving yourself you away. You know I did that. You didn't want to see that, so I, I was... didn't get you to see that. <laughs> well, I was trying not to get too comfortable, but now, now that you've pulled it out, I might as well sit down. <laughs> and what about the decoration and everything? Did you guys assemble everything yes, together? Yes, in, in-house. In oh, house, okay. In -house. Yes. Okay, cool. In-house. We make sure that we take care of all like we keep saying we are one stop shop. Yeah. So yeah. we take care of uh, all the interior and all that. So mm -hmm. even if you have your home, you are building already, you want us to help you with the interior and decor. You can do that in. as well. If you want us to start uh, from the design process all the way from the, this, the building to right. the operation. You can do that, do that as well. well. Okay. Yeah. And another thing I noticed here is you guys don't have curtains. You have blinds. blinds. Yes. Did you guys do that or you bought these ones? On so, so typically, for a dining mm -hmm. or a bar, mm -hmm. you don't use curtains, you right. use blinds. Right. So when we go to the bedrooms, mm -hmm. you see the very beautiful curtains that we oh, have. Oh, you got curtains in the bedroom. Yeah, okay. In the bedroom. Right. You see also at the living area. Oh, yeah, true. Got curtains yes, as well. yes. That yes, again yes. is built in the house. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Don't see too much and enjoy this place. I you know, now I'm getting it. comfortable. <laughs> I thought Danny was my friend and he was going to give me this place for free, but clearly not. Choose your friends wisely. Again, again, there, there are a lot of lighting system here because we want to be able to play around with the ambience. Okay. For instance, like I keep saying, when you are here in the night, mm. I mean, you don't need all this light. You just need to turn off uh, all the bright light, have a warm light. Mm -hmm. So again, within the same confines of your room, mm -hmm. you're able to create so many atmospheres, yeah. so many ambience. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? So yeah. that is the concept of uh, our deco. Okay. It's in terms of lighting. Right. In right. terms of lighting. Yeah. So Danny. Hi. <laughs> I hope you guys have Wi-Fi here. Yes, we do. You do? It's a fully uh, furnished apartment. Okay. It comes with cable, it comes with Wi-Fi, 24-hour running water. There is a backup power chain set. Oh, okay. So every time you have all the amenities that you need. Right, because okay. Because a lot of our clients work from uh, home. Oh, okay. Maybe you are in the UK, you are mm -hmm, in the US, mm -hmm. you are visiting Ghana, you want mm -hmm. to be working. Why, all okay. the services that you need, including mm -hmm. amenities and everything is here. Oh, okay. We're able to work from here. We have, like I said, this running water 24 hours. Yeah. There's a gen set back up. That's you know, important. Yeah. We're yes. not dealing with doom so. No, 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 no. What's doom so? <laughs> <laughs> I should be asking you that. <laughs> so now, when you get here, we have two bedrooms. Okay. Two bedrooms. We go, we check the primary bedroom. Mm -hmm. So this is your two bedrooms. Masters is overlooking the car park. Very you can spacious. See very yeah. spacious. Mm -hmm. Mind you, mind you, do not forget that this is just um, a small piece of land again. Yes. And we yes. are trying to what? We are trying to what? Maximize, maximize the, the use of yeah. uh, space. Mm -hmm. Look at the, this, this uh, cabinet. Yes. Quite huge, quite yes. spacious. Very we big. make sure that we, we are able to what? We're able to what? Still be able to produce a lot of space mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. our clients to be able to yeah. keep their luggages because mm -hmm. if you are two adults in this room yeah you need a huge space absolutely so you know what can you imagine where is the toilet and bath in this room 
Do we have one? Don't we have one? <laughs> have looking I, at you. I don't see Come, it. I so... need to do some magic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you are so dramatic, Danny. <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be cabinets right. all around. Is this you guys' work? Yes, RKE? yes, it is one of our cabinets. Oh, okay. Including this, this magic. Look at take a look at this magic. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> people will definitely be surprised by this. Yes, yes. I can yes, imagine yes. people coming in and being like, where the hell's the bathroom? Like I tell let me tell you a story. A client came in and said, Oh, you don't have, you told me you have, it's unsealed. Yeah, it's yeah. Unsealed. Where is it? I said, please relax, calm down. <laughs> no, no, there's no toilet to me. I came in and I said, please. He said, oh, come uh, on. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, gosh. I mean, it's just nice because we're trying to manage the space. Yeah. We want to be able to join this together. Mm. Instead of just having one cabinet here mm -hmm. and another one open right. this place. It will not look nice. So yeah. we decided that let's just create this and build it as a single unit. Mm, mm. Again, it's stylish, it's nice, but again, it's helping us manage Absolutely. the space wall. Yes. You know, it's up the Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, Very these smart. curtains, like you're asking, all these curtains are done That's, in house okay. by okay. our staff. Okay. We do that in house. So nice. if you need your curtains to not look anywhere, no worries. Yeah, you not look anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So again, I mean, this is a, a simple luxury apartment. Mm -hmm. You are traveling for most uh, business people traveling. You want to keep it simple, but still very elegant. We have this beautiful frame here. Yeah. Welcoming you. Lovely. Does it did welcome you? It's beautiful. Yes. I love how minimal it is, but yes. it's still yes. very we, pretty. We still emphasize on space management. Look, yeah. There's so much space around mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I love space. I have yeah. long legs. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done, Danny. Thank you. Thank you. Again, this same small land. Mm -hmm. We have another bedroom okay. and suit. Okay. Like I keep telling you, it's a taboo to build uh, without having rooms and suit. You right, know? right. So again, this is a double bed. The okay. other one is a queen size. Queen, yes. This yes. is a king, uh, double, double bed. Double bed, yeah. You're able to have two people again. Mm -hmm. So all in all, you can have four guests in here. Right. They have their own separate washroom, like I said. Bathroom. Okay. We also have another wardrobe there for okay. them. And then this time around, they have a balcony. They have oh, a balcony. Okay. They can go to the balcony right. and uh, take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. They have a beautiful portrait here, looking at you, and I'm looking at you. <laughs> I want to sleep. Can somebody take me to sleep? I'll I'm leave you tired. here. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I love yeah. that this is a smaller bed here as well. Yeah. Then there's even more space around exactly. here as well. Again, yeah. I mean, this is a small land, yeah. well managed. Yeah, absolutely. We maximize the space very well, very, very so well. that we still create a lot of ambience. Mm -hmm. Again, in the night, if you want to turn off your, um, I can just turn off the the bright one, mm -hmm. the bright light. Check it out. Check it out. It up. You right. have the warm light. Yeah. I mean, you are sleeping in the night. You don't want bright light. Mm -hmm. You turn it off. You can turn this on if you want to dress. Right. Put on the dress like you are wearing a beautiful dress. Nicer than mine, but I won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> I don't what want can you say, say Daddy? Yeah, so again, yes, quite spacious again right, as well. Right, yeah. Very Has its own vanity. Mm. The glass cubicle again, produced by. Royal Kingdom Estate. Right, right. Yes. And Simple. I noticed you guys have hot water in yeah, 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 the bathroom yeah, yeah. as well, hot which is water, great. Yes. Yeah. In the morning, you want to shower hot water. Mm -hmm. Hot water. <laughs> hot water. Can you please stop <laughs> talking like me? Everybody does this to me. You know? They do that to you. Everybody. Oh, then I'm like everybody in your life. <laughs> yeah, so that's what. So, again, I'm going to show you the final piece, which is the jigsaw. It's okay. going to blow your mind away. All right. Let's go there. Check that one out. All right. Do you guys believe Danny though? Because I feel like last time he was hyping us and he was actually right. Because every time I went up the next level, I was surprised. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the it's same. better thing. off believing me than my <laughs> sister. <laughs> they won't believe you over me. So again, this is it. I love the, the view. The poolside, the terrace, the 
in the night, right? Mm -hmm. This place is turning. <laughs> I mean, soak it in, soak I it in. I can imagine soak it though, because soak it in. Very breezy. Yeah, the view yeah. here is really nice. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You have the sitting area here uh -huh. to host your friends and yeah. family when you are lodging here. You know, when you are here, you see the whole of Accra. Yeah, basically. You know the whole of Accra. Uh huh. Yeah. Originally, this wasn't part of the concept. Oh, okay. So when we got to the fourth floor, we decided to do a structural integrity assessment. Okay. To be sure if we are able to pull this here. Oh. It wasn't easy. It was a bit challenging, to but the pool, yeah. we've been able to pull it off. Uh, this is an infinity pool. Right. No leakage. Mm. Well done. Mm -hmm. You are able to swim. It must have like, can, I five... flip? can I flip and oh, just go swim? Ahead. Oh, yeah, tomorrow worry, I'll do that. I'll save you. <laughs> I'll save you for you to drown. It you must are... have cost quite a bit to put a pool up yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. True, true, true. Because you need a lot of um, anti water agents to be able to keep this from leaking. Oh, okay. So it costs a bit of money, mm. but at the end of the day, you want to achieve something and yeah. you achieve it. This is probably one of the biggest attractions of this building. Mm. People come here in the night, yeah. chilling, partying, yeah, hosting imagine. their friends yeah. and family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so amazing right. to pull this off. Yes. Yeah, Since so you don't have a room for me, maybe I can <laughs> <see it. laughs> My welcome, because no welcome. one is occupying this You're place. So. And it comes with um, a shower as well. You oh, shower okay. before you use the pool or right. after. There's okay. also a washroom there as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for you to be able to go in there yeah. and take care of yourself. Yeah. Again, this area, family uh, sitting area, mm -hmm. you can just come here and just enjoy the breeze. And uh, we have a grill station here. Okay. There's music at night. You right. can have music there. This uh, is very well done then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very well done. Mm. And because this is exposed to the sun, we picked this one. Okay. So even when it rains or sunny. Yeah, the color still, doesn't change. Yeah, the color yeah. doesn't change. Amazing. We make sure we have some greens all around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, your favorite greens. I know, right? <laughs> I know. And I love, I just love the air here. It's yes, fresh yes. air, it's yes. nicer. Even when yes. it's hot, it's breezy up here. When so we're building, we had you mind. <laughs> You didn't even know me then. What are you talking about? What year did you um, set up this place? So this place was built between January 2021 okay. to November 2021. Oh, right. It was, okay. like, it was, uh, it was like a military camp. We were working day and night. Yeah. A plumber is working here. A tiler is working here. Mm. A painter is working here. Again, like I keep saying, if you have the means, yeah. build and build Thanks really really, fast. Right. You save a lot of money. Right. And then, I mean, this is a commercial property mm. that you put up for, for rent yes. and you get some residual income. And with right. time, right. you are going to get back your, your, your returns. Your returns. Yeah. So, okay. Nice. So do yeah. you feel like investing in these type of commercial properties is worthwhile, especially within Accra, given your experience so far with the decades? No, it's worth it. Real estate is uh, one of the safest investment you can make right now in Ghana mm. because uh, there is uh, a lot of demand for accommodation. Right. We are fully booked already yeah. for Christmas. People book as early as January, February. Right. Currently, the apartment is fully booked. Okay. You just have to make sure that your service mm. is top notch. Okay. You have a competitive rate. Right. This place is two bedroom, spacious, mm. luxury. We're charging 80 a night, okay. which will be like uh, maybe 1,000 cities. A night, a night, yeah, the yeah, night yeah. fully yeah. Uh, furnished. It yes. comes with everything, right? And um, yeah, we make sure the service is top notch. Okay, we attend to. I'm, guess what? I'm a super host on Airbnb. Oh, really? Are you? I there didn't, I didn't you used go. to be on Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not on there. I'm, anymore, I'm, I'm, so. I'm, I'm beating you to it. I'm not <laughs> you <super> have <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Good job, good job. That's really, really amazing. So as we said, real estate is becoming more and more popular now. People are investing here and there. You've already put your money into nice buildings or small pieces of land where you, you know, utilizing space very well is something that you're an expert at basically. Yeah. So what's to come? What more? Are you going to build more? Is this it? Are you done? Are you leaving the rest for, all, for us or you're still taking more? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I keep saying, the table is big enough for all of us to dine mm -hmm. and still have a lot more left. Well, what we'll be doing in the next couple of years is to build a uh, medium to low uh, budget apartment, mm -hmm. both in the prime and the outskirts of town. Okay. So we believe not everybody wants to live in the prime area. Right. So we're going to be building close to 500 units in the next one to two years. Okay. Outskirts of Accra okay. in the Iburi areas. Right. And then we are also going to be building multiple, multi-purpose uh, 
a mixed use apartment right. in the prime areas as well. Okay. So, I mean, we are inviting a lot of people if you want to invest. Yeah, I mean, right. we are open for investment. If you mm. want to uh, partner with us, we are very much open. We don't want to eat alone. We want to share it. We want to spread okay. it. So you are welcome. So All start, right. start well, with us. Save my one apartment <laughs> there for me, <laughs> especially in Ivory, so yes, that I can yes, come yes. and holiday there. Yes, yes, yes. This was really nice. Thank you, Danny, you're for welcome. taking me you're around. Welcome, Thank um, you so much. Yeah, for I think me. you are doing incredible work. So keep at it, and um, yeah, thank you. I'll keep learning from you as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning from you. <laughs> <laughs> learning from each other, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. yes All right. Yes, yes. Cool. Thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little tour of the decade, which is this eight bedroom apartment on this small piece of land. Danny is doing incredible work. All his information will be in the description box below for people that want to contact him. I am going to go get ready and have a swim before I leave because it is hot in Ghana, as you guys know. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow your bliss soul. Now life is short. Follow your bliss, Nani Payede. Follow your bliss, Nadi Vesibi Aye. And follow your bliss, Nadi Nemada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.